I am Dr. Tiffany Shelton Mary Ole. I am the manifesting psychologist. I talk about how to make your dreams a reality. Today I'm talking about if you have a dream of a big business goal um, as I get ready and kind of chatting with you guys being a little bit more uh, myself why I get ready for I'm filming a few videos today. Wow. So I am finishing up my makeup, doing a chat with me. I've already done my foundation. Oh my goodness. And I'm talking today about, sorry, I'm a little frustrated because this whole first portion, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, so I put on my primer, my foundation, my concealer. Now I'm contouring, but today I'm having a chat with me about uh, motivation to start a new business, right? and overcoming fears. And I wanna share with you guys some changes I'm gonna be making um, when it comes to my own business and starting a new business. Uh, and so I thought this could be a way to just show up a little bit more authentically, talk to you guys without a script, without a how-to, and just kind of help you if you're in the same position of having some fears of starting a new business and some of the things that have helped me. So the first thing that I would say is to talk back to your fears okay um if this is something that you're struggling with you want to start a new business but um you have some fears i want you to really look at the words that are going through your head when you feel those fears or worries and then talk back to them so you may be thinking who are you to start a new business i know i had that feeling when i um, started my first business conscious life shop and what I had to do was really verbalize those thoughts and then talk back to them and say, well, you know, I'm a person that's passionate. I think I can help people with my product. I think I have innovation design and I think I can make something great here. And, and I just, you know, kept talking back anytime those fears would come up and say things like, I'm going to do this anyway, even if, you know, you, you're talking your crap in the background fear. So just make fear like a person and talk back to it when those thoughts start to come up for you. Um, the next thing I would say is to not worry about what other people in your life are gonna think about it. And that can sometimes be easier said than done, but I would say a way to do that is to shift your focus on focusing on your target audience. What are they gonna think about the product? Cause that's what's most important, not just a random family member or a friend, because they might not even be a person that you're hoping to serve with your product or service, right? And so if you can start to, whenever those thoughts come up, thinking about, oh my gosh, what is my mom gonna think about this? Or what are my friends gonna be think? This is embarrassing. If you could shift instead to thinking about what the person you want to serve come up with like an avatar and um, shift that energy into what's gonna make them satisfied that can be helpful if you struggle with thinking about other people um, I have my notes here so the third thing that I was sharing with you guys um, let's see here lost my place was um, Focus on attainable goals rather than the bigger, larger than life goal in the day to day, and then leave the rest to God. So let's say you want to build a business that you can sell one day for like millions of dollars. Thinking about that every day in everyday mode can be a little bit daunting. So instead, focus on the things that you can control in that process of getting there like being consistent on social media, um, developing products based on customer feedback, like have those attainable goals that you know you have control over and focus on those in the day-to-day -day rather than trying to control the entire process. That's gonna help you let go, let God, but still do your part in moving towards your goal, right? So that can be really helpful as well. Another thing, if you're trying to overcome fear of starting something new and manifesting a goal, a big goal, business goal, is to know that it's gonna be hard uh, along the way. And um, that's okay. Anything that happens, don't look at it as a failure, anything bad that happens, look at it as a lesson that's moving you closer to your larger than life business goal, right? Okay. So back to um, knowing it's gonna be hard. Everything that happens, um, instead of being daunted by it in a way that stops you, paralyzes you, or makes you even scared to start that you might fail, 
think of it if something does happen it's just a learning lesson and you can still pivot you can still change you may have to change suppliers you may have to change um, products you may have to change businesses like I'm doing but it's all bringing you closer to that larger than life goal that you have for your business success and it's needed it's necessary it doesn't feel good in the moment because business sometimes can feel like war but in the end know that it is good for you because it's bringing you closer to who you need to be to manifest your 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 business your successful business and to help the people that you want to help with your product or service in a impactful way um so don't be afraid no it's going to be hard but if you're all if you're conscious do the conscious work while you're running a business you can um use those things as um catalyst to move you forward if that makes sense um, which brings me to what I wanted to share with you guys about the challenges that I had in my first business that turned into lessons and why I'm closing my first business, even though it's a profitable business and pivoting to a new business, which I want to share with you guys. I'll start with um, my business. So I work full time as a psychologist. I have two side businesses, which are Conscious Life Shop and um, Dream Life Academy. Dream Life Academy has been incredibly successful, better than I thought or even dreamed about. I kind of started as like a passion project and it's really taken off. I've worked with some incredible people that I would call friends. Um, I'm really inspired by the people that I've been able to work with. So a lot of coaches sometimes talk about, um, you know, how did you manifest your dream clients and had some like nightmare situations i've never had that every person that's been in my program i have literally been so inspired by um would call them a friend and it's been really really great experience at the same time um i do work a full-time job that i don't want to quit i like it i like having my benefits i like having money to, to invest um I like having working for a nonprofit and serving people that usually don't get services. I also get help with my student loans in that way. So for me, it's a win-win and I like what I do. So it's not something I really want to let go. I didn't go get a PhD just to, um, to not use it. It's something that I really enjoy and that's why I got the PhD. So for me, I want to keep my full-time business and have a successful side business to fulfill my other passions. Um, what's not been sustainable is working one-to-one -one in my program in Dream Life Academy. Um, even doing group coaching has become, with my schedule and the two kids, now that I'm a mom of two, ooh, I'm starting to fill a pool then. So I am making some changes to Dream Life Academy. Um, also because for... Um, some people, it hasn't been accessible, even though I've made it as affordable as I can, given that you're getting direct services from a psychologist. Um, I, it's, if you paid me just as a psychologist, it would be so much more expensive than what my program is, right? Uh, plus, you're getting all the manifestation stuff. So I've, in it, I've made attempts to make it affordable, but for still, for a lot of people that are trying to especially manifest financial abundance, it's still really expensive for them. So I'm going to provide the program for people to do on their own. And if they want to have an add-on session for me, that can be an add-on. That will be like an add-on service that I'll offer, but it won't be needed to get all the material for um, Dream Life Academy and to be able to go through it yourself and then also get my help in our private Facebook group. And I know a lot of people that have emailed me that have not been able to afford the program, have been asking me to come up with some solutions. So I'm really excited to offer that and hopefully serve more people, help more people, um, see people manifest all those things like babies and financial abundance and all those things like my other clients in the program. So that's one change that I'm making. The other change is I am closing my first business, Conscious Life Shop and I am pivoting to a new business. And there's a, a couple of different reasons for that. The first one is I meditation cushions are really heavy product and the su supply chain for that is really difficult. I designed them in California um, where I started the company and then I um, had them imported from India. The meditation 
my capital of the world and it was great for a while but there were a lot of supply issues just because it's a really heavy product um and you have to pass those costs on to your customers otherwise it's not a business and yeah that became difficult to sustain the margins were becoming lower even though it was a profitable company um i was really proud of that and making money on the side um the supply chain issues i learned a lot about how to work with a manufacturer um, and get exactly what i'm asking for to make sure I, I create a quality product but also to do it in a really like sustainable way um, heavy products are really difficult. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is kind of having like fleeting passion for the project. I love to meditate. I meditate every day. Um, but I, my passion for meditation cushions in and of itself started fleeting. It's kind of like a one and done kind of passion. Like I was passionate about designing them because I couldn't find ones that were pretty. Um, and then it was, it's not a type of product that you can keep on creating. And that's like my, my jam, my spark is creating. And so I wanted to build a business that I could constantly be developing products and creating products. Um, because it was such a heavy product, it was hard to be innovative because, um, it was hard to just change it so quickly because the supply chain was difficult. It was also really expensive to store them because I wasn't fulfilling them myself. They were fulfilled through, um, well, I'll just say Amazon fulfillment. It was fulfilling my website orders as well as my um, Amazon orders. And it was expensive. Amazon is like, ooh, especially for a really large, heavy product. Again, coming back to that. Um, and then, so yeah, my passion was just fleeting for the business and I tried to keep going because I don't want to quit every time you know like ADHD you know I get bored so I did keep going for a while but then I had to practice what I preach in my program which is to follow your guidance system your spirit which sends you emotions to let you know if you're on the right track or not um and I finally listened and said you know this is not something that's lighting me up and bringing me joy anymore and so I made the decision that I was going to pivot for that reason as well. Um, let me see what else I have. I have some notes here, so I want to make sure I'm sticking to my notes. Um, yeah. And so that gave me that permission to pivot. And what I'm pivoting to is my new business called Mod Ambition, which I'm really, 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 really excited about. Um, so the mission of Mod Ambition is to help ambitious women have it all in style and without overwhelm. So that's so important to me. If you know me and listen to this, even this video, I am a mom of two. I'm a wife. I am a full-time psychologist. I have side businesses. I want to have it all. And I don't think I'm alone in that, but I don't want to feel overwhelmed and I don't, uh, I know, that's my husband. Uh, I don't want to feel burned out. And I don't want to do it in a way that's, I want to look good doing it. I want to have fun doing it. So that's why I say in style and without the overwhelm. So that's what I'm building the company around. I will be starting a podcast. Woo! I'm so excited about a podcast because, so I'll still be continuing YouTube. I will still be posting every Thursday about manifest manifestation tips because I'm passionate about helping people make their dreams a reality and I want to provide free value like that's an important mission to me um so I will continue to be doing that I will also be posting on the mod ambition YouTube um clips from the podcast um uh, and I will have a podcast on Apple and everything and the thing I'm excited about that is podcasts, you can go deeper, right? It's not all based on answering questions. I can tell stories. I can really uh, tell you guys how I'm applying these things to my own life, what I'm learning in the everyday as far as life organization, planning, organizing, um, how I attempt to have it all in my life and still reach these larger than life goals. And so I'm really excited about that. The podcast will be starting in January of 20, 2022. So stay tuned. This is the first place I'm letting people know that. 
Um, and then next year we will be releasing the first product, which is the Prosperity Planner. So right now I have the Manifestation Planner printable. And the goal of that is just to get you guys feedback on what you like in the planner as far as manifesting your goals and building prosperity, what you want to see change. So if you have the planner, my Manifestation Planner printable, you can get it in the link below. Let me know your feedback. What do you love about it? What do you hate about it? Because I will be building, I'm building a physical product called the Prosperity Planner, which I'm going to launch on Kickstarter next year. Um, so basically the next year till the product launches is going to be about gaining feedback on the printable version and then creating this beautiful, 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 I'm so excited. I'm in develop for development of it right now. Um, planner that you won't have to print and you can have the physical copy and it's something you can be proud to put on your desk and proud to put in your purse and it I'm really really excited I'm excited to have it for myself for myself definitely um because it's just really really beautiful um so yeah that is what I am moving to I'm excited about the podcast I'm excited about the product because I'm going to be doing all types of office products and just things to kind of help you organize your life, have it all, um, do it in a sustainable way. And I think you guys, especially if you're watching this video and you're an ambitious woman or man, um, are going to like it too. So let me see if I had any other things that I want to. Oh, I, w I did lastly want to talk to you guys about I want to document um, this journey of building this new business, what I'm learning. Um, do you guys think I can post, should I post an extra video per week on this manifestation channel or should I post it on the Mod Ambition channel? I would love your opinion on that. I want to, you know, show things of like how I'm building the website, how I'm launching, how I'm marketing, things that are working, things that are not, lessons that I'm learning in building an e-commerce business. Uh, if that's something you're interested, let me know and let me know. Do you want to see it? On, do you think it's a good idea if I post an extra video per week on this channel or should I post it on the Mod Ambition channel or a separate channel? Not sure. Um, let me know. So I'm just going to put on my mascara because the look is not done until you put on your mascara. This is like my natural beat. Um, probably should have done my eyebrows, but it's going to be all right. We're going to make it do what it do. And I will see you in the videos. Thank you guys so much for watching.